What's happening, bronies? So, let me give you a little half of my situation, shall we? Welcome to my humble abode. I basically moved into Los Angeles so I could pursue an acting career. But in doing so, I lost my old set. This is my new room for rent. And everything is pretty run down. There's Q, say hi. And this is basically all my stuff. And this is all my equipment right here. And my laptop right now is seriously fried. So I won't be able to edit anything. This is going straight to YouTube, which means that I'm going to do this episode in one take only with no editing. How am I going to do it? Somehow. Transition, wallpaper, none this week, I'm sorry. So anyway, this week's first video is brought to you by Dialeek Studios. I, I think we may have mentioned these guys once, but anyway, these guys made a new video um, based off vinyl and Octavia. It's really awesome. Check it out. the dishes so loudly. Oh, come on. It's like the best way to wake up in the morning. All right, cool. There you go. Next transition. Cool. Insert vinyl and Octavia joke here. Yes. Um, yeah, vinyl could web all day if she wanted to, but Octavia stops her because she's too up tall. <laughs> what are these guys? Frenemies? Married for a long time? Or are they brother and sister? Because they honestly fit in all of those situations. Alright, so anyway, this week's second video is Sweetie Bot Reanimated. This is just a one minute video, but it's very well made for a one minute video. Check it out. I have so much strength inside of me that you don't even know what I could do. If the world is going to love me, then I'll see you. Oh, one of my favorite scenes from Friendship is Witchcraft. It was priceless there. But the animation was really spot on with how that thing would have happened if Sweetie Belle was actually a robot. And by the way, Sweetie Belle as a robot is one of my favorite fandom jokes. So glad it went canon on the trading cards. Transition. There it goes. So this week's Brony Song of the Week is brought to you by 2010. That groove featuring, you know, Glaze, Living Tombstone, Mike the Microphone. You know, the guys who made that um, Carrot Top song. They made a new one called Moving On, featuring Ame. Check it out. Not having video editing sucks really badly. But you know what doesn't suck really badly? The comment question of the day, which is brought to you by, uh, uh, here we go. Lyra Heartstrings. Eh, eh, 
And she writes, What? What will Pinky do if she met the Equestria girl, Pinky? So just leave your interesting or creative response in the... Uh, ah! God, freaking hurt. So just leave your interesting or creative response in the comment section below. <laughs> oh, not having editing sucks. But, gotta freaking... Ah. Uh. It's a laptop. Why don't I just bring that here? God, I'm so stupid. But anyway, thank you for watching this week's episode of Equals P, quite possibly the crappiest episode ever. I'm Forsuit, and this message somehow still got 20% cooler. And again, this is just a one-time thing. Hopefully by next week I'll have a new set, and I'll be able to edit, and I'll be able to do everything again, and it won't be this crappy anymore. So tell me, brownies, um, what was the question? Oh, what other ways could Pinkie Pie break the fourth wall? Let's find out together, okay? The re reading time. Um, hmm. Bronix96 writes with a hammer. Collider Scope says, I have no idea. What other ways? Are there that Pinky hasn't done? You give up too easy. Ryan Larkin. Well, she just bucks the wall down. With a little smiley face made of two dots and a D. All right. And Joshua Guizo writes, A hammer. Nothing else needed to be said. Why did I say it in that accent? All right. And, um... Ooh, screw loose writes, Pinky could divide it by zero. That's clever. That was smart, screw loose. All right, so that's the end of the episode, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.